Betty. We thought we'd show you around what we've been living in for the past 11 weeks. This is our 17 foot bunkhouse model, Forest River Viking. Come on in. Welcome to the master bedroom. <laughs> this is our full size bed. We have the um, storage underneath here. So under here we have our shoe storage. We cut a hole so that we could have our shoe collection for the four of us stored somewhere that was out of our way and not be having tracked dirt and stuff inside the camper. So we have shoe storage that we created here just out of some plastic. We have our swimming bag and then we also have some long-term snack storage, pantry food items, um, paperware, toilet paper, that kind of thing. This is our closet. <laughs> Hats, coats, jackets. We hang them here on these three hooks. Command hooks are everywhere. This is our electronic storage. So we have the kids' iPads, we have our camera gear, um, that kind of thing in there. This is kind of our junk drawer. It's got more storage for backpacking, hiking, bug spray. We've got batteries and tools and tape and that kind of thing in here also. This cabinet has my storage. This is my closet. So I've got two buckets in here. One has all my pants. The other one has all my um, socks, that kind of thing. It's real easy to grab and get out. This area we use to store books that we're reading to the kids. We do read alouds every night. So we've got the stories that we're reading and that we've collected along the way. This is our nightstand back here behind our pillows. So back here we've got more books glasses, our laptops, some charging devices, pretty much what you typically find in a nightstand all shoved back behind there, which actually works pretty well with the countertop right there. And this one's Peter's closet, so same thing. He's got his two containers up there, so he has room for his clothes. I'll show you where we put our hanging clothes here in a minute. Welcome to our kitchen. This is our kitchen table. Um, this actually folds down into a bed also if you wanted to use it for sleeping or you can kind of use it as a lounge or couch area, which we do sometimes do. Under this bench is no storage, it just holds the hot water heater. Under this bench we have our propane tank that we keep as a spare. We, only, we have one on the outside, one on the inside so we can switch them out and not run out of propane. And then the electric um, is under this bench. So they do open up but there's not a lot of storage there. So for our kitchen storage, we actually have this cabinet, which is all of our cups and utensils. On this side, we have our food storage. So this is our pantry. I added a shelf in here just for a little extra storage. Also, we've got our vitamins and medicine up here also. I love this model because I actually have a fair amount of counter space. I know it doesn't look like a lot, but for this small of a travel trailer, it's nice to have at least a little bit of prep space. And I've got a dry spot here for when I do dishes, um, a sink. It's not super deep. I have a bucket that can fit inside to make it a little bit deeper and it works great. And then a two burner propane stove and a microwave. Down here we have our fridge, which it is small, but it holds enough for we found about a week's worth of groceries, depending on how often we're eating out, how often we're eating in the camper. We try and eat out of the camper as much as possible and not eat out that often. Under here, I have all my cleaning supplies, and then also there's a fan, a vacuum, and all of our pots and pans and cooking supplies. We picked this model for two specific reasons. One was we wanted a bed that was down all the time so we didn't have to raise and lower it and remake it every single night. And then the other reason was because we needed bunks for both of our kids. So we've got two kids, they're five and nine, and they're here in the bunks. They're gonna show you their spaces. So this is my bunk. I have my pillow, my stuffed animals over here, and I have my flashlight, and I have my chapstick, and I have my storage up here that has this little camera, and I have a stream catcher, and then I have my window, and I'll show you the view. <laughs> And I have different campsites, and I have different views every time I move. And that's kind of cool because I can see out when I'm at the stars and try and look for constellations. This is where I have my storage where I keep my Barbies and more Barbies and then other junk. And then my watch and my toys all in this area. And then I have my blankets and I have my 
stuffies. And so Daddy put my little step up here. It's strong enough and it won't break so then I can get up. And this is how I get up. I just put one leg over and run and the other leg over. And then I'm up. My brother down there will show you his buck now. So this is my bunk. I have everything pretty much I need in here. Um, and so in here I keep all my books. This is my nightstand. I have my sunglasses, my phone, my flashlight, my headlamp light that I use for reading a lot. I have this light on sometimes but not a ton. This is my extra bit blanket. Right next to you is the Junior Ranger vest. Um, this is my bear. Hi. <laughs> His name's Teddy. Um, and then, this is kind of secret, this is actually a door, I unlock it, pop it open. This goes up. We have a pop-up trash can, we have our grill, we have all of our sewer things, we have our fire starters, we have our extra, some extra propane for the grill. This is my garage. I have all my toys in here, and a lot of extra books and everything. Alright, so adjacent to the kids' bunks, we have the kids' closet. In here I've got a container for their jammies, all of their hanging clothes, and then just these little plastic drawers that I found at Target that can pull out and have their socks and underwear in them. And then in this I have Peter and I's hanging clothes. We just added a wooden dowel rod that we found um, and Peter made a couple of little brackets to hold that in so we could hang up all of our clothes. Unfortunately they don't actually hang all the way down because our clothes are a little longer than the space we have. So, in here, we've added a hanging closet hook also so that we can hang our clothes and let, let them wrinkle release while we're um, driving down the road. So we kind of just think ahead a day or two of what we're going to wear as far as our shirts go. We just hang them up here so that they're all set to go. On the back of the bathroom door, I put some more command hooks. We've got our towels, so everything stays wet in here a little bit longer, even when I have the fan vent on. Um, and these tend to dry out a lot more quickly, so that's helpful for when you're taking showers with four people. In here we've got the toilet. We don't have any cabinet storage in here um, above the toilet or a sink in here. So we added this, which is actually a shoe divider that I found on clearance at Kohl's for just a couple of dollars that was for the college kids. Um, and we put our names on them so that everyone has a row of four pockets. And in those we have our toothbrush, toothpaste, lotion, I have a hair dryer, we've got our brushes, our soaps, all of our bathroom um, and personal care items stored in here so they're not floating around the rest of the camper and that seems to have worked really well. On the back side of that is our shower curtain and really a nice full size shower um, for a camper that we're able to use comfortably. We also have added some extra hooks so we can ha hang things like swimming suits or extra towels, clothes that get wet, um, and then our laundry is back here also. So I'll show you around the outside of our camper. It has been super easy to set up every campground that we go to. Basically when we get here, we just disconnect the front, then we level it off, and the last step we do is we set up the water and the sewer and the electric line so that we're all plugged in. So over here on the front, we've got just our standard uh, trailer hitch, and this is a bumper pull camper, so it just uh, latches onto our two and, a, uh, two and five sixteenths ball. We raise it up and down using the jack stand. So we'll raise it up, we'll disconnect it from the truck, unhook the chains, unhook the trailer plug, and then we go around and use our four uh, four jacks to level it out. I just bought a drill that can run those and so we just run those down, level out the camper, and then on the back side I'll show you where the water and the power in the sewer is. So over here by Josiah's secret door is where all the utilities are. So when we get to our campsite our power plug is actually stored right here so we're just able to pull out as many feet as we need and plug it into their 30 amp power service. Right at my feet here below his door is where the gray and the black sewer tanks are. So every campground that you go to has a sewer line that's already plumbed into the ground, so you just connect a flexible hose over to it, pull the releases and everything is just connected right into their system, which is great. And then we hook up a water line as well so that we've, we're hooked into their city water. And every camper is gonna have a pressured 
water as well as a holding tank. So we don't actually tow much water with us. We make sure that we have hookups wherever we go. That way our camper is as light as possible when we're driving, but we're also all set whenever we get wherever we're going. So that's the utility side of things. There's also a few storage hatches like this one over here on the outside of the camper. And so this just accesses underneath the bed where Leslie showed you earlier, and it's able to give you a different way to get in there and, and store different long items. You can go all the way through to the other side of the campers. So that's the outside of our bunkhouse camper. It's been a really fun thing to have, and this one's super easy to set up and maintain. Hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.